Hello, I'm Jackie Cecil, and I'm really glad you came in tonight. We're going to talk about peace with Jesus. I'll be right back. Hello, I know that today's lesson is going to be very helpful. It was helpful to me. I have been in the process of so many of my friends have been uptight lately. There's some, you know, lots of things happening in this world. And, you know, countries are falling apart and, and soldiers are being wounded and COVID's everywhere. And, and we have unemployment and people are just and they're just all turned upside down. So early morning, I began to pray and concentrate and think about what I could do about any of this. And then it came to me that Jesus has given us as a gift, peace. It says so in the, in the New Testament. It talks several times about where Jesus says, I give you peace. So I looked it up today. There are over 429 verses that speak about peace. And over half of those are in the New Testament about or around Jesus. And then I went and did a little another search on what we could do about being stressed out. <laughs> and, you know, there's everything from um, exercise and diet and herbs and the last one that was on the list was talk to your best friend about it. And, you know, I'm smiling and, and thinking, well, of course, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to talk to Jesus. We are supposed to, our job is to catch on and realize we're stressed out. And where do we take our stress? To the Lord Jesus. So I began to look at the scriptures and think about it. And I, I had my little lesson all prepared and I had my makeup on and my, and everything going. And I sat down and turned on this, uh, my, my zoom to record and my gorgeous black blouse just kept popping in and out of the screen and it was green and it was tacky and it was not professional. And in about five or 10 minutes of messing around with moving my camera back and forth, you know, closer to me and, or the green screen, trying to figure it out. I realized that I was acting ridiculously uptight. And I, and here I am going to discuss being uptight. So I calmed down, asked the Lord Jesus to forgive me, regrouped, took a couple of deep breaths, you know, you take those nice cleansing breaths and let them out. And then I just said, wow, Jesus, what would you have me do? And it went right through my heart, change blouses. Oh, that's all I need to do. Duh. <laughs> so I changed from a black blouse with this dark background to white and it works absolutely perfectly what was I thinking and why I didn't figure that out on my own? I don't know. And worse, why would I get so uptight? But it's because I care. I care about my channel and I care about the people who are subscribed to this channel, who come in and watch these videos. I want you to get wonderful advice and encouragement from the Father God, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And, and just about the time I was thinking I was going to kick myself, you know, because, duh, why would I do that such a thing? I remembered, you might know this a few weeks ago, I had a video where um, Minda and Ryan, uh, I'm sorry, Minda and Sean Ryan were on the video and Minda reminded us that mistakes are not failures. I was just like, she's right. It's not a failure. It's just a mistake. 
get over it. So I got over it, turned on this video, and I'm saying things I had not intended to say on this video. I had a wonderful long speech. But what I need you to know is that I'm human and I make mistakes. But the Lord Jesus has already made provision for us. There's a scripture where he says, he as in Jesus, is saying to his disciples right before he leaves for heaven, he says, I'm giving you a gift. And that's the way it says in the Amplified. Jesus said, I'm leaving you a gift. Peace, I'm leaving you. Not the peace the world has, but the kind of peace I have, I'm leaving you. So I thought about that a minute and realized his peace was an add-on bonus. When we accept Jesus into our lives as our Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. We have a wonderful place to go when we leave this earth. But while we're walking on this earth, Jesus left us an add-on bonus. He left us the gift of peace. All it takes is reminding yourself that, oh, this is just a mistake. I don't need to walk through this mistake. I just need to, to take a couple of breaths and start over. That's all you have to do to have this kind of wonderful peace. I just said, I'm sorry I forgot that my peace comes from you. It doesn't come from which color blouse I have on or that I'm having a little trouble with this video tonight. It doesn't come from that. My peace comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have peace in Jesus. I'd like you to always remember that. And down on the right-hand side of my screen, I want you to click like, because I like you to. I'd like you to, if you have not already subscribed, of course, I want you to do that. And since I'm so vulnerable and so obviously truthful here, if you know a friend, a family member, who's really having time, a uh, time with being uptight and stressed out, just share this video with them. Just show it to them. I'm okay that they know I made a mistake because I know that doesn't make me bad. It just made me vulnerable to talk about it. And now I'd like to pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you and I thank you for this audience. I thank you for this channel. I thank you that you're blessing it, blessing it, blessing it. You are blessing it so that, so that more and more people hear when I'm vulnerable, I just say so. And Father, I thank you that you are blessing these people physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and even with creativity, you will continue to bless this audience. And I thank you for it, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.